So everybody's talking about Pirates of the Caribbean 6 and how they're going to replace Johnny Depp. Yes. Because Johnny Depp says... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Johnny Depp says even for hundreds of millions of dollars, he's not going back to Disney. Okay. So we heard Margot Robbie before that she might star alongside Depp and then take over the franchise. Yes. That's... Gone. Gone, yeah. But now they're thinking on casting a, a lady from Nigeria as Anne Bonny, an Irish pirate from back in the day, an Irish female pirate who was white and redhead. And she won't be white and redheaded. No, this is a black female star. Okay. Apparently, and I don't know if this is going to make its way into the film or if it was part of the hiring, but she is part of the LGBTQ oh, community. Of course, she, of course she is, because it's Disney. Now, they just had their earnings call. Yes. And they're pumping up all this other stuff, like, uh, oh, we're putting out Moana 2, and Disney subscribers have gone up. And they have their biggest movie franchise. And they're announcing that they're looking to hire this lady. Well, is it their biggest movie franchise? Because Disney... Live action movie. Yeah, but Disney owns Star Wars. Disney owns Marvel. No, I'm talking about Disney. Not mm -hmm. Lucasfilm or Marvel. Disney. This is their biggest franchise. It went for five films and made billions. Yeah. And were they any good? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. The first few, the last ones, I didn't even bother watching. They got so dumb. Well, I watched them. They were decent. They were nowhere near as epic as the first ones. No. But they were built on the character that Johnny Depp defined. Yes. So even if you say, okay, we're going to replace Jack Sparrow with a different Jack Sparrow. Like another guy playing Jack Sparrow. Yeah. They still won't have the magic that Depp had. No, it'll be everyone to compare him to being copied. You're a copycat. Yeah. So he would be he would be copying, mimicking Johnny Depp. And you know that's completely fake. Yeah. Yeah. The only way they could have carried it on is if they would have took uh, the character who what's his name from he played Legolas Legolas. Um you know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the first one in the first movie. If he would have assumed the captaincy from Jack Sparrow at some point and then continued on as Pirates of the Caribbean as him, not Jack Sparrow, but the new pirate captain. They could have done it that way. But people wanted to see the Johnny Depp drunk pirate. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 they're, they're grasping at straws. But they don't have... Put it Disney doesn't have original ideas in their head right now. They are doing nothing but... Toy Story 5, Moana 2, uh, Frozen 3, for, you know, they're, uh, Cars is looking, they're looking to try and do Cars again. The remake of Snow White. Remake of Snow White, remake of this, remake of that. Everything is, we don't have a brain in our heads to write a new story that we think people might actually want to watch because we fired all the people who had any creative ideas like John Lasseter and people like that. They kicked them out. Now, given that, given that they've destroyed Star Wars, yeah, uh, they've destroyed Marvel. Yep. Um, well, yeah, yeah, because they no had one's... a shot at keeping Marvel, and the, and they, they've doubled down on stupidity. Yeah, uh, and uh, they're having a really tough time. They got somebody, uh, a, a hostile investor. They got Elon Musk after them now. They're they're really doing very poorly as a company. Yeah. Why would you take one of your biggest franchises and do something that is going to anger the, the Pirates of the Caribbean fans so much that they turn on you? Well, why would you announce the only character in Star Wars is the person you're going to do your next movie from when that's the person that nobody wanted to see again? I don't even know what you're talking about. Why is the Ray movie being fast-tracked? Uh, well, I actually heard that it was being put on hold. But that was the first one announced. Yeah. That, that's the first Star Wars movie being announced. That's going to save Star Wars again. Yeah, no. well, I think at the time that it was announced, uh, Kathleen Kennedy wasn't as embroiled in scandal well, because of South Park, right? She still is. Uh, she's always been there because 
it's Star Wars. Marvel, for instance, the next big blockbuster for Marvel, Marvel is New World Order with the new Captain America, Falcon, right? And nobody's looking forward to this movie. Nobody. It's already gone into reshoots. They postponed it another year. Why is that your tentpole movie coming out now uh, for your Marvel series? They, I mean, who's, who's going to watch the Thunderbolts? Who's going to watch these movies they're bringing out? Nobody. Why? Because Disney has no plan. And nobody, all their plans have failed. Here's our side characters, here's Echo, here's this, we're gonna, and now we're going to put them, here's Ghost from this movie, from that, and this special cameo in this, and then we're going to put them in a group, and they're going to be popular because we say they're popular. No one, no one cares, no one wants them, no one wants you to do it. Instead of doing hard reboots and starting over and writing new stories, they just abandoned it all. Now, I'm, I'm wondering about... You know, everybody takes sides in the, in the culture war, uh, they have their own politics, and there was a time where the voice actor for Apu was fired because he was a white guy doing an Indian accent. Yeah. And there was a time, well, very recently, actual dwarves were not cast to play the dwarves in Snow White. That's right. Okay. Because another dwarf said, that's not right. Yeah. Yeah. And now, uh, even in anime, there are voice actors who are white, who are having problems getting gigs because, well, it's a Japanese cartoon. So, why is Disney finding it okay to have a, a black lady play a white Irish woman? Because you can, A historical figure. You just explained it. You're allowed to replace white. You're not allowed to replace anything else. You can't replace Japanese. You can't replace black. But, but if you're gonna you can't go, replace... If you're going to go with the idea of cultural appropriation. Like, I remember some people getting, like, just pummeled because they were a, a white person wearing a kimono. To a party. Yeah. Yes. And 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 now it's it's okay to do this? And you know it's going to anger everybody. How is this going to make your investors money? Well, see, I, I, I don't care about all this cultural appropriation, anything, because cultural appropriation is a sign of we really do like what your culture is. It's a, it's a flattery. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the Japanese culture, the Asian culture. I love their society. And that and you know, if I could change some of the stuff we do here in North America, make it a little bit more like that, I'd be happy to do it. Doesn't mean I hate my own thing or I I don't appreciate them or I'm stealing from them. I appreciate them. Mm -hmm. You know, great. I love the way you do that. And I, I don't know, I, this whole thing about cultural, like, if, if that's cultural appropriation, that you wear a kimono and suddenly you're stealing the culture of Japanese people, well, is not then going and saying, well, The Little Mermaid was a white character written by this author and making her black. Is that not cultural appropriation? It's not, not, not the exact same thing. It's exactly the same. But you can't because she was white. And it, no one ever can say that it's white. And, and it's stupid because I have not a bone in my body that's racist in any way. I, I get along with everybody. And you do your thing, you do your, as long as you're a good person, that's all I care about. But it drives me nuts when you can't write characters, when you say you want to, you know, boost your own culture and all that, but you don't write your own characters. You want to insert them in other stories that have already been written. Or, yeah, but in this case, it's a historical figure. It's not a story that's been written, yeah. but it's a historical figure that was this person. It's like making Jesus a Chinese person. Or Cleopatra Black. Netflix and Disney, they're out of their minds. <laughs> that's what I mean. It, does, and it, it drives me nuts because it's disrespectful to the basic history of the world. If you don't follow your history and you don't know your history, you're, you fail to repeat it. Mm -hmm. And by doing what they're doing right now, they're not enhancing the culture. It's not representation. It's not nothing. Representation is when you write a story for that person, not when you insert them into other stories just for the sake of inserting them. That's tokenism. And I, I completely, you know, uh, Hollywood is, and Disney especially is bad at this. Disney is especially bad at this. Just, oh, well, we're going to, 
We're, we got this big LGBT community moment coming up in our Beauty and the Beast movie. Here it comes, here it comes. And it's two guys in the background dance for about two and a half seconds. That's their big announcement for the LGBT community. That's crap. That's not representation. You're not being big and you're not being bold, Disney. You're being, hey, look at us. Take a picture of this. This is us supporting you. Meanwhile, you had a two and a half hour movie that nothing else happened. So how are, like, what is the, the road forward for Disney? Um, they're gonna end up being broken up. I hate to say it, they're gonna be broken up. They're gonna be left with their parks and their theaters and entertainment divisions actually gonna go away because unless they fire 90% of the people they have working for them, including the people in the, who are running it, they're not changing. Here's perfect example. Ray movie coming out, perfect example of not changing. Hiring somebody like this to replace Johnny Depp, perfect example of not changing. And, and, and but not just like I could see Pirates of the Caribbean actually being spun off with a different pirate. That's fine. It probably won't make a lot of money. No. Nope. But why this person to play that historical figure? It does not make sense. Is she going to have an Irish accent? No. She'll have a Caribbean accent. And they'll say it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean with an Irish historical female doesn't, pirate. Doesn't matter. Do you think that Irish pirate had a Caribbean accent? Doesn't matter. Don't let facts get in the way of them changing and showing you their diversity. Uh, it's like Disney was the king of the hill for so long. The trouble with Disney is families have now woken up to them and they no longer are going after families. They're going after race and culture and sex. That's the problem. We're supporting you guys. We're supporting them. We're supporting this. And the families are going, well, what's in it for the families? What are you showing us for families now? And families have just turned away from Disney. And that's the problem with Disney. They built the parks and the movies and everything based on families. And now they're turning away from them. And they're wondering why people are no longer are going to Universal. Why people are going to other places. Well, I have, I have no doubt that the Snow White is going to bomb drastically. Pirates of the Caribbean, if this goes forward, is going to bomb drastically. They cannot possibly make money on this. Oh, no. It'll, if, if anything, it might be a Disney Plus series. Because then they don't have to report the numbers. I, I don't even like and Disney owns what two-thirds of of media out there of, oh. of the Hollywood well what, the, what are we doing this channel for well they did they did but they're losing that representation now they have all these tent poles but they don't have product to put out anymore because no one's going no but they have Marvel they have Lucasfilm they have uh, Disney well, they, they have, have currently what's Pixar but th that's like two-thirds of what is released that's right but what used to be released two thirds in the theaters themselves were all Disney owned at some point. Now they're not. Disney used to own 80% of the top 10 movies of the year. This year they had two. And one of them was from somebody who had it made with Sony and you know, in Avatar. But that, that's not a good thing. No. Because look at the release schedule this year. There's nothing. There's nothing. There might be a less Disney. But nothing good is replacing it. There's a whole pile of garbage coming out this year. Now, had they offered Johnny Depp $100 million or, or whatever he wanted to come back, they could have made a movie that made money and reestablished the franchise. Because after the trial, there's a lot of new Johnny Depp fans out there that just want to support him. Mm -hmm. And that could have been a boon for Disney. The trouble with Disney is they didn't support him during the trial, like during all the insinuations and all the stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but if you're and a businessman, so, you get over that. Yeah, but Johnny's, Johnny has money. He doesn't have to compromise his values for some money. He doesn't. He has enough, to, he can he can spend a million dollars a day and not go broke to, yeah. for the rest of his I, life. I think they could have put a couple of lines in there that were inside digs at Disney that would make him feel good. It could have, but Disney will never dig it themselves. Now, South Park would have wrote it. Pirates of the Caribbean wrote by Trey Parker and that that would have been good. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, that's my rant for the day. Yeah, Disney, Disney, Disney. Hey guys, uh, sorry I can't join you on your videos this week and answer your trivia questions and let you make fun of me because we're busy here on the beautiful beaches of Cuba. What are we sipping? Pineapple rum. Uh, pineapple rum drinks out of, out of pineapples and having pina coladas uh, and having beach beach pizza we're getting sand in our butts and uh and soaking in some sun so um hey wish you could be here not really there <laughs>